Jack the Ripper, the unsolved case. Infamous murderer Jack the Ripper killed at least five London female prostitutes in 1888. Never captured, his identity is one of English's most famous unsolved mysteries. Jack the Ripper terrorized London in 1888, killing at least five women and mutilating their bodies in an unusual manner, indicating that the killer had a substantial knowledge of human anatomy. The culprit was never captured or even identified. Attacks ascribed to Jack the Ripper typically involved female prostitutes who lived and worked in the slums of the East End of London. Their throats were cut prior to abdominal mutilations. The removal of internal organs from at least three of the victims led to proposals that their killer had some anatomical or surgical knowledge. Rumors that the murders were connected intensified in September and October 1888, and numerous letters were received by media outlets and Scotland Yard from individuals purporting to be the murderer. The name Jack the Ripper originated in a letter written by an individual claiming to be the murderer that was disseminated in the media. The letter is widely believed to have been a hoax and may have been written by journalists in an attempt to heighten interest in the story and increase their newspaper circulation. The From Hell letter received by George Lusk of the Whitechapel Vigilance Committee came with half of a preserved human kidney, purportedly taken from one of the victims. The public came increasingly to believe in a single serial killer known as Jack the Ripper, mainly because of both the extraordinarily brutal nature of the murders and media coverage of the crimes. Of newspaper coverage bestowed widespread and enduring international notoriety on the Ripper, and the legend solidified. A police investigation into a series of 11 brutal murders committed in Whitechapel and Spitalfields between 1888 and 1891 was unable to connect all the killings conclusively to the murders of 1888. Five victims, Mary Ann Nichols, Annie Chapman, Elizabeth Stride, Catherine Eddowes, and Mary Jane Kelly are known as the canonical five and their murders between 31 August and the 9th of November 1888 are often considered the most likely to be linked. The murders were never solved, and the legends surrounding these crimes became a combination of historical research, folklore, and pseudo-history. One of the problems with ascertaining the exact number of victims that Jack the Ripper had is the fact that he was never caught, so it is difficult to ascertain an exact number of victims. The Generic White Chapel Murders File the official name for the police investigation into the crimes contains 11 victims, and it is generally believed that five of these were the work as the killer now known as Jack the Ripper. Mary Jane Kelly is generally considered to be the Ripper's final victim, and it is assumed that the crimes ended because of the culprit's death, imprisonment, institutionalization, or emigration. The Whitechapel murders file details and other four murders that occurred after the canonical five, those of Rose Milet, Alice Mackenzie, the Pynchon Street Torso, and Francis Coles. Despite countless investigations claiming definitive evidence of the brutal killer's identity, his or her name and motive are still unknown. Various theories about Jack the Ripper's identity have been produced over the past several decades, which include claims accusing the famous Victorian painter Walter Sickert, a Polish migrant and even the grandson of Queen Victoria. Since 1888, more than 100 suspects have been named, contributing to widespread folklore and coolish entertainment surrounding the mystery. Suspected 1. Carl Feigenbaum 2. Prince Albert Victor 3. H. H. Holmes 4. Montague John Druitt 5. Walter Sickert 6. Robert Mann 7. Jill the Ripper, the only female suspect Male or female? Comment down your opinion. Unknown facts. 1. Five women were killed in the so-called Autumn of Terror in 1888. 
though a number of other women were murdered in 1888 in Whitechapel, Mary Ann Nichols, Annie Chapman, Elizabeth Stride, Catherine Eddowes, and Mary Jane Kelly are most likely to have been the Ripper's victims. They are known in Ripper lore as the Canonical Five. All five killings took place within a mile of each other. 2. At least six other murders have been linked. Among them, Martha Tabaram, a Whitechapel resident who had been working as a prostitute. Her body was found on 7 August 1888 in George Yard Buildings, having suffered 39 stab wounds to the chest and abdomen. The post-mortem revealed that the killer had used two different knives, one of which may have been a bayonet. No proof. The police therefore deduced that a murderer was a sailor or soldier. However Inspector Abilene later referred to Tabram as the Ripper's first victim. 3. Four of the five Ripper victims had previously been married. The fifth, Mary Jane Kelly, does not appear in official records and comparatively little is known about her life. Unlike the other four canonical Ripper victims. 5. Two of the victims were murdered on the same night. The 30th of September is known as the double event. The body of Elizabeth Stride was discovered at about 1 a.m. in Dutfield's yard, off Burner Street. Shortly after, at 1.44 a.m., P.C. Watkins found Catherine Eddowes in Mitre Square, easily within walking distance from the first body. 6. The third victim was born near Gothenburg in Sweden. Elizabeth Stride moved to London in July 1866 possibly to work in service for a family living near Hyde Park. The Legacy of Jack the Ripper Jack the Ripper's murders suddenly stopped in the fall of 1888, but London citizens continued to demand answers that would not come, even more than a century later. The ongoing case which has spawned an industry of books, films, TV series and historical tours has met with a number of hindrances, including lack of evidence, a gamut of misinformation and false testimony, and tight regulations by the Scotland Yard. Many books and many TV shows and many more were introduced check the description for the link for the books. More recently, in 2011, British detective Trevor Marriott who has long been investigating the Jack the Ripper murders, made headlines when he was denied access to uncensored documents surrounding the case by the Metropolitan Police. According to a 2011 ABC News article, London officers had reported Jack the Ripper has been the topic of news stories for more than 120 years, and will likely continue to be for decades to come. Please subscribe for more videos and support us.